Stars, stars are giant balls of burning gas that shine brightly in the sky. Stars shine because they burn hydrogen inside them. Our sun is a star, and it provides the heat and light that make life possible on Earth. Stars come in different sizes and colors, with some being much larger than the sun. Over time, stars grow older, burn all their fuel, and end their lives in different ways. A star's death depends on its mass. A dying star can become a white dwarf, neutron star, or a black hole. White dwarfs, white dwarfs are the remains of stars that were once like our sun. After a star uses up its fuel, it grows much larger and becomes red giant. In this stage, the outer layers of the star expand and eventually drift away into space, creating a glowing shell of gas called a planetary nebula. What's left behind is the hot, dense core of the star, known as a white dwarf. This white dwarf is the final stage of the star's life, slowly cooling over billions of years. Neutron stars, a neutron star forms when a massive star runs out of fuel, the star's core collapses under its own gravity, and the outer layers are blasted into space. This exploding star is called a supernova. Supernova releases a huge amount of energy and light, making the it shine much brighter for a short time. The core that remains after the explosion, is called a neutron star. A neutron star is incredibly dense. It is very small, only about 20 kilometers wide, but weighs more than our sun. Pulsars, pulsars are a type of neutron star that emits beams of radiation. As they rotate, these beams sweep across space like a lighthouse, making them appear to pulse. They are very dense and can rotate extremely fast, black holes, black holes form when very massive stars reach the end of their life. After the star runs out of fuel, it collapses under its own gravity. If the star is heavy enough, the collapse keeps going until all the matter is squeezed into a tiny, dense point called a singularity. This creates a black hole, an area where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape, quasars, quasars are incredibly bright objects found at the center of some distant galaxies. A quasar has a supermassive black hole at the center. This black hole pulls in humongous quantities of matter in the form of gas and dust. This vast amount of gas and dust makes a spiraling disc-like shape around the black hole. This disc is pulled in the black hole with such a force that it heats up and shines very brightly. Some quasars also have jets of high-energy particles shooting out from their poles, moving at nearly the speed of light. Quasars are among the brightest and most energetic objects in the universe. Planets, planets are large, round objects that orbit a star. They do not produce their own light, instead, they reflect the light from their star. They can be made of rock, like Earth and Mars, or gas, like Jupiter and Saturn. Some planets, like Earth, have an atmosphere and are suitable for life, while others are too hot, cold, or toxic. There are planets that orbit stars outside our solar system, they are called exoplanets. Dwarf planets, dwarf planets are similar to regular planets but they are smaller in size. They also orbit stars but aren't big enough to clear their neighborhood of space debris. Pluto is a famous example of a dwarf planet, moons, moons are smaller celestial bodies that orbit planets. They can be made of rock or ice and vary in size. Earth's moon is the most well-known example. Some planets like Jupiter have many moons, while others, like Mercury and Venus, have none. Asteroids, asteroids are small, rocky objects that orbit the Sun, mostly found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. They can vary in size from tiny rocks to large bodies. Some asteroids are thought to be remnants from the early solar system. Comets, comets are icy bodies that orbit the Sun. Comets go around the Sun in a highly elliptical orbit. When they get close to the sun, their ice turns into gas, forming a glowing tail that can stretch across the sky. This tail is what makes comets so beautiful and easy to spot when they pass by Earth. Meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites. Meteoroids are small rocks or pieces of debris in space. Meteors are meteoroids that burn up as they enter Earth's atmosphere, creating a bright streak in the sky. In common language they are called shooting stars, meteorites are meteors that survive their trip through the atmosphere and land on Earth. Galaxies, galaxies are huge collections of stars, planets, gas, dust, and dark matter, all held together by gravity. It is estimated that there are about 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has billions of stars, including our sun. Galaxies come in different shapes, spiral, 
elliptical, and irregular. Nebulae, nebulae are large clouds of hydrogen and dust in space. Most nebulae are of vast size, some are hundreds of light years in diameter. They can be the birthplace of new stars or the remains of stars that have exploded. Nebulae often look colorful and bright in photos because of the light from nearby stars, brown dwarf. A brown dwarf is an object that is larger than a planet but smaller than a star. It doesn't have enough mass to start shining like a star. Stars shine because they burn hydrogen and produce energy in the form of light and heat. However, brown dwarfs don't have enough mass to start this process. They do give off some heat and faint light, but much less than regular stars. Brown dwarfs are a kind of in-between object, not quite a star and not quite a planet.